Hey there, Unawarriors. Ennui Goblin here. Welcome back. Going to be trying something a little bit different today. Now, as, as some of you might know, the only videos that I've been able to do up until this point have been my own personal replays and turns as... <clears throat> replays and such are not yet transferable from one player to the next. However, uh, I've been working with some members of the, the Uniwar community to try and, and work around this, and uh, working with uh, Wolf, I believe Drumboss has also shown some uh, interest, maybe a couple of others. And uh, the process right now is the only way for me to get replays from, uh, replays from other players is for those players to actually voluntarily record and send those replays into me. Now, the, actually, this isn't that difficult of a process to get through. There's actually a couple of really great apps right now that make the process very, very simple. Uh, the one I'm using right now is Smart Pixel. There's another great app, uh, Game Recorder Plus. Uh, and I know that there's at least a couple more, so it's not that difficult to process. Now, another thing I want to mention is... I realize this game, uh, this match is going to be in vertical video, uh, and that is because it was originally recorded by Wolf in uh, <clears throat> in portrait mode. Now, if you want to record a video and send it in to me, it can't be in portrait mode. You have to have everything set to landscape view. If you record outside of landscape view, then it comes up as vertical video when I try to post it up to the YouTube. So... Um, once again, I like to, I want to send a shout out to Volf for sending in this video. Uh, up on the top part of the map with the red sapiens, we will see, of course, Volf. And at the bottom, on the uh, playing as the blue Kralians, will be the one and only incomparable Roka666. Without any further ado, let's get this match moving on. This game will be in two times speed, so it may be a little bit difficult for me to keep up. However, I will do my best. That's another thing. Guys, if you decide to send in recordings, please have the fog of war turned off. And make sure the speed is kept at least uh, one times, uh, 1x, because 2x or 3x is a little bit hard to keep up with when you're trying to cast the game. So here we go. Let's get started. Going through Roka's... Uh, Alright, here we go. See, turn to Siren Speed. Alright, so we're going to see Wolf moving both his Marines and taking the obvious two beginning captures and opening up with a Marauder to try and get some uh, maneuverability around this map. We see a Swarmer from Roka and an Underling coming up trying to protect it. The Swarmer is going to move up onto that mountain spot where he's going to be hard to move down and can snipe out those Marines. The Marauder is going to take a big bite out of that Underling before it can get onto the protected mountain square. Underling is going to bury the counter. <coughs> Swarmer going to take a huge bite out of that fresh marine coming off of that base, pushing it down to five. And a second swarmer, however, helicopters coming up, going to be big threat to these swarmers. These swarmers have to be super careful of that helicopter. Another pins are coming up, maybe to choke hold that point by the mountains. The swarmer is now trying to get away from the helicopter, but the helicopter hot in pursuit with the marauder behind it to start doing some initial damage to those swarmers. Another marine going to come and weaken that first swarmer up to, a, to just a two health. Can it, can it survive and hold on? Other swarm are going to move down and try to get some damage onto further damage onto that marauder. A pincer's up to try and block the damage. Uh, swarmer, the other swarmer, however, is going to go down, and the other one left at a two. That's going to be a huge material disadvantage for Roka moving forward. These marines now from Wolf going to move up towards these mountain squares where they can take control of the center. Going to be healing up on those swarmers, trying to keep all of these units alive. So important for Roka to keep his units alive at this point. Using the helicopters from Wolf now to try and take out those pinzers and weaken them down before they get up too far across the map. Other helicopter going to do the same on the pinzer from the opposite side. And Roka, I feel like he's going to have to try and bring his troops in together in one constrained area to keep them from getting uh, damaged too much. The Garuda and now coming off the map, trying to keep that Swarmer protected while it heals up. Another Garuda on the left side of the map. I think it might have been better if he kept them in the same spot. Now these helicopters now are just going to come and continue to chip away at these pinzers. <laughs> the pins are now down to six health. It's going to have to continue healing and not going to be able to push forward any further. The other pins are now getting down to seven. Heels go down on the pinzers. Heal on the Swarmer. Garuda is going to try and take a bite out of the helicopter, but I think that's a little arrogant for the Garuda. It's going to be a little bit too... He's going to get taken out now, I think, by these two helicopters. That's the one shot, leaving at a one health. Marauder going to be able to deal with that Garuda, and that is a huge loss for Roka at this point. These Garuda is super important. <coughs> with the helicopter and the Marine getting a successful gang up on that other Garuda, and if that Garuda goes down, I think Roka might very well be out of this match. There's four helicopters and a Marauder and three Marines on the board that he has to face up against. Has to keep every unit alive. 
instead of getting that Garuda, that Garuda is going to go down, and I think that could very well mean the match. Still, a Garuda Swarmer and some Pinsers, if he can hold them off, Wolf might have to you know, fight for that position unless these pinsers, but these helicopters are going to be so effective at just coming in and chipping away at that pinser health. Marines now creeping over, threatening a base capture. The pins are going to move over and get rid of that Marine and eliminate the base capture threat, pushing his Garuda up towards it. But now, as uh, these swarmers are going to take another shot at the, the Marauder, but now these helicopters are just going to go in and do so much damage to these uh, Kralian troops. Marine going to clear off that swarmer. I think that swarmer got a little excited pulling past the Perinzer. He probably should have kept it a little bit behind the Pinzer, and it might have been more effective. These helicopters just doing so much damage, turn after turn, healing them up. Another Marine, and two more Marines come up onto the board, and now the Swarmers are going to try and chip away at these Marines, but I think it's a little bit too little too late. The Garuda's now moving in to try and get helicopter kills, but he has to focus those units down on those helicopters. He can't just weaken them. The helicopters actually have to go down, and that Garuda is now going to be very vulnerable to it getting killed. I think he's going to get knocked out by this next shot. Swarmer taking more considerable damage from that four-copter. Seven Marauder, Marauder is going to come in, do another two damage, and the Garuda is going to go down. The helicopters haven't even gotten a chance to attack yet. Helicopter is going to finish, move Dart in and finish off most of that Swarmer. The Underling is going to be knocked down to a four health, and then that Underling will go down. Those Mountain Tiles once again secure for Wolf, and Wolf looking in a very strong position at this point. Healing up... <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see, Roka trying to take out, finally taking out that Marine on the Marauder on the mountain, but that helicopter up there is going to be able to push away all of that Garuda aggression. And now a base capture has come in from Wolf. I think that's going to have to be the GG. Without that base income, there's no way that Roka is going to be able to keep up. Another Marine. And let's see. Is Wolf is uh is this gonna be the GG? Is uh, Roka gonna continue to try to hold on into this match? Marauders still moving around trying to get some damage. Helicopters hitting those pinches, and there's the GG. It looks like Roka's not gonna try and go on any further into this match. Now, looking up into this, uh, if I had to, let's take a look at that map again. I think somewhere around this position right here. Yes. I'm trying to find the right position. Somewhere around here, now, now he was doing a good job on the right side, Roka, of keeping that pinzer up to block the units from coming in any further towards his flyers. And I think the way to keep this match alive would have been to take his Garuda from the left side of the map and push it with those other flyers and get a group of them. You want to get those Garudas you know, grouped together so that they can fly out and snipe away those copters behind that marine line. Maybe use that per using that pinzer as like a pressure point that uh, the copters can't get past. Build up those flyers, but I think he got a little bit premature in attacking with the flyers. Wasn't able to take out the copters. And then later on, as uh, the fire, as you see... The flyers are just left in a continue. As he pushes up, you see that Garuda past that Pinzer. Yeah, he's going to get some damage out on the other Marines, but he's got. But Wolf has so many units ahead of that Pinzer to just come and attack those flyers if they come out singularly. That they're it's almost an instant death sentence to send troops out there sing as singles past that Pinzer point. So I think that's where this game really went south for Roca. Um, so, <clears throat> just final thoughts, guys. If you have any videos that you would like to submit, any replays, you got replays that you think was an interesting game, or maybe you know someone who's a skilled player playing in the tournaments, let them know. You can always email me. I have my Gmail posted in the comments section below. It's ennuigoblinunivore at gmail.com. You can email all questions and videos to me there. Uh, if you don't want to send a video, but you do enjoy the videos I put up on this channel, hit the like button, maybe leave a comment with your thoughts below, alright, and uh, once again I want to give a shout out to Volt for providing the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.